For instance, that girl, I don't know if y'all seen it, but I salute her because she's the real one. She was fucking a ghost. She's telling like she's fucking a ghost. <laughs> I seen her. I have Exactly. Re- I'm a part of the problem because I retweeted it and I said. I, I support her. I retweeted it too. I, I gave some hater comments. I retweeted it. Oh, I said, damn. I said, it's time to get a job. <laughs> <laughs> is this like the reason like, she's no, fucking, hey. she fucking a ghost? So let me tell y'all the bag. Let me tell y'all the bag. Let me tell yeah. y'all the tea on reason why she's very smart in my opinion. Okay. You got to remember, there's fetishes out the ass. Like, people yeah. have fetishes for anything. Like, it doesn't matter. People won't speak on it. Uh-huh. People have fetishes of anything. I had a dude, literally, this is some wild ass shit. He literally said, you look like my sister. What the I fuck? I said, what? He said, you look like my sister. Can you make a video of you playing your coochie and saying my name? I said... I just, it took me a minute to respond because I'm like, do I really want to do that? That's kind of like weird. But I'm just thinking to myself, like, I'm finna tax the fuck out of this nigga because I know yeah. he really wants it. How many hours of sleep you get? Well, I get about, I already hit the record. We already, I get about seven. He, I was about to say, that's why I, I hit the record because he, he lying. I know he know? lying. <laughs> I know he lying. Gee, I got up six He's o'clock lying. this morning. No, no, don't believe him. I'm telling you right now, this is a known fact. Your body cannot function on three hours of sleep for seven days a week because you want to know why you're going to get sick. You're either going to get sick or your body is going to tell you to sit the fuck down. Your body told you to sit the fuck down yet? Never. You're a lie. It, I'm telling you. Nah, he I'm went to, I ain't going to. Give all his business. He Dude. definitely got more than six hours last night. It, no, that, that's because uh, that's because I was drinking for three days straight. All right, man. <laughs> exactly. So you drink too. So that adds on top of it. There's no, no but that actually makes me wake up more. That's like my coffee. Don't ever for say night. that out loud again. <laughs> Don't ever say that out loud. Again. <laughs> <laughs> we we back though. You talking about you talking about alcohol, right? Yes. No. Don't say that out loud again. You ain't drink what well, we uh you don't drink tequila. No, I, I drink. He's a pussy. He's one of them people. Wow, wow. that's crazy. Oh. He's one of them people be like, oh, I can't. One of them dudes, I just can't. I gotta have brown liquor. Yes, you hear my voice. That means I'm a brown liquor nigga. What y'all like? What y'all like prefer more? Everybody in the room. I feel like I was like on. I was heavy on the crown. Yeah, we, we, we got another person here. Yeah, we got mystery uh, guest. <laughs> yeah. I should have just speak from a just distance. Give her the mic. I should have just gave her a mic and she just be off camera, but she chill. I ain't gonna bother. bother. She bother. Yeah, she gonna she, get the mic. If she need to say anything important, I just pass it to her. Right? It's gonna happen. Watch. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely gonna get integrated to this conversation. Okay. You do that what I'm saying? What? All right. What are we taking a shot? Oh. Where you where you got the liquor at? In her hand. Yeah. I'm about to say <laughs> oh, is she hogging it? They got those baby shots. First of all, we already been drinking already, and she drunk brown. Just You're right. The see, brown apple is brown, but it was a seltzer mixed with other things. So okay. she's selling a seltzer. I gotta try it. First of all, she loves. Yeah. She, yeah. yeah. She's no fucking. Women in the class, I love it. They they drink a lot of liquor. Nah, no, you should. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. I got water cause Come on, bro. I'm supposed to be the one with the, I'm supposed to be the uh, one with the water. I don't want I don't like white liquor. It's just like women. I don't like white women and white liquor. <laughs> I was finna choke. I'm glad I did not Yeah. I, I, I drink my liquor like I like my women. Brown. Mm. I respect. Well hold on real quick. You ain't even introduce yourself. You know you're not on the show. You ain't say nothing. You okay? Are y'all on the same nickname? Hold on. Are y'all in the same field? Y'all do the same thing? <laughs> I'm gonna let her answer. <laughs> <laughs> um, I do, but I'm not. As she dibbles and dabbles. She says she dibbles and dabbles. She in and out. So She's on call. Introduce yourself, cause they're not gonna see your face. We're gonna call her in mystery, mystery guest, yeah. mystery woman. Sasha. Sasha. No banks. No. Sasha. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, Sasha Banks would have been hard. We ain't think about that. Well, you still no, time. That's, it's y'all would get sued. <laughs> no, no, I think they, I think they might be all right. No, it depends on how Don't. you spell it. Oh, how would you spell it? With a Z, that might work. Yeah. Yeah. That get here. you some like, I get you like some accidental clicks, like somebody looking for yeah. actual. Because I'm not even gonna hold you that name. Is somebody already? But I'm if you switch it, though, I want to be myself. I like, I like the name that you already came up with. So. You remember that one chick? Her name was. She looked like Sherry Henson. What's the what's the singer? Cheryl Henson? Sherry Henson? No, Sherry I Henson? I thought you about to say Carrie Hilson. Carrie Hill Carrie Hilson. That's what she looked like. It's a chick. She used to look like Carrie Hilson and she changed her name to Cherry Hilson. And she looked just like mm. I got I gotta, I gotta do my I gotta do my research. She retired. She been like that was like some high school shit. That's fine. 
Yeah. Miss Twerks up still out here. She is. She lives in Atlanta, don't she? Yeah. She you ever ran into her? No. That's crazy. All right, we need to. Yeah, <laughs> we, we pick her up. <laughs> After we get done, we're gonna look for Miss Twerks on wherever yeah. she at. Yeah. Because I need to see her. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so what you been up to since uh, last time? Um, you don't come to Jacksonville, or well, you, well, you ain't got no reason to come to Jacksonville no more. Honestly, I really don't be out there. Somebody asked me to come out there, and I was like, uh, I don't really need to go out there. Even though I haven't really been traveling for real, for real to like places that I just want to go to. I just been traveling for like business, but I actually do need to go out there because I never went to the beach out there. Mm. I like never really did anything when I was out there. I like came to y'all podcast and that was really it. And I stayed in the house until I had to go. So Damn, that's I'm, like just dibble and dabble down there because I didn't do nothing. So I'm gonna redeem myself. From my yeah, life. just go out to the beach. Actually last time we seen you, I was not the podcast, we seen you at Exotica. Exactica. Yeah, yeah. We just randomly just ran into her. She had she was the only <laughs> person well not she wasn't the only person, she just had the booty shorts on. We were like, Oh, that's majesty. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Cause I see the footage, you like, oh. I'm gonna be there. Right. Um, this year I have a booth. This year, oh, you got a booth this year? yeah. All right, for That's sure. Suck, right? So if y'all are there, definitely stop by. Oh, we we definitely pull up. I'll, I'll be there for sure. I'm excited. It's my first time doing a booth. What made you get a booth? Um. Okay. So I'm running from for an award for <clears throat> Urban X Awards for Rising Female Star and <clears throat> Female Content Creator of the Year. So. I just thought, what more? And it's my third year. About to be my third year doing porn. So I'm like, what more to celebrate than actually advertise yeah. myself? Because I've never, like, when I went the first two years, I was just like, okay, I'm going to be in the shadows because I'm not really a big name or, like, anybody that people can, like, recognize. Even though I did get recognized a few times, it was just more of, like, I'm a humble person. So I just feel like it wasn't my time to, mm. like, get a booth, in my opinion, because I feel like I ain't put in enough work for me to be like, okay, I can advertise myself. He would know me in order to be like, okay, there she go. Yeah. And I feel like this year, that's where I'm at. For sure. You got a game plan? You know what you're going to do when you're out there? Um, so her and a few of my other friends are going to come down with me and they're going to like help me while mm -hmm. we're out there. So advertise me when we're at Exotica and like on the street. I do plan on going out there for fun because I'm not even going to hold you. I love Miami when I'm with my friends. Yeah. When I'm by myself, I don't be doing shit. But when I'm with my friends, I like to go out there and I like to get on a boat. So I'm going to try to have fun and mix it with work. But work comes first and I might just stay a couple extra days to like yeah. bullshit. Yeah. Because I know um, most of them, when they go out to Miami, they be doing like collabs and shit. I feel like that's when everybody get their collabs off. Yeah. My problem only thing is at that time, I'm not even going to hold you. I'm more... I'm not trying to collab with people because, and this is crazy to say, people just like, they in the, this is Miami, so they more of like, okay, we out here to party. And they, yeah, they, they like did collabs and like talked about it before, but a lot of people who I like scheduled collabs with when I went the first two times, they flaked on me because, oh, we're too drunk. We went to an after party. Somebody else was throwing a party. So I feel like everybody in Miami going off vibes. And don't get me wrong, I'm good off vibes, but like, I'm trying to be professional. I'm not yeah. trying to, like, go to a party, after party from Exotica, and then, like, everybody just fucking. Nobody just showing. Yeah. No test results. We all just out here just thugging and recording. Yeah. And I feel like it's that's not me. I can't sit yeah. up here and be like, okay, yeah. If it's with my friends who I already know, like, these bitches stay tested, we talk about it regularly, then yeah. But it's, it's other people involved, so I'm not even going to put myself in that mix. Yeah, I've never been to no after event for that reason. Yeah, when we had went, like, a bunch of them, we don't even, we ain't even content creators. Well, we content creators, we ain't that type of content <laughs> yeah. creators. But yeah, like, that was, like, the main thing. They were pushing, like, the after party. I remember one one girl, I, don't, I can't even remember her name. She was like, yeah, just slide me $500 for, 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 uh, for the after party. That's what I'm, I'm like, saying. No. no. <laughs> it's just, like, shit like that. I'm not even going to hold you. I, don't, I got invited to a lot. But what's funny I tried, I think, my first year, but me, her, and, like, my other friend, we all got really drunk, and we did not make it. And what's funny, they ended up having a big-ass orgy, and I'm like, mm. I'm glad I didn't go because I wouldn't want to be a part of that. It seems fun, but it's like, I know for a fact, nobody asks it for test results. Nobody is just sitting here like, oh, yeah, let's talk about this before. Everybody's just drunk and just going off vibes. And yeah, I feel like yeah. situations happen when you do that. Yeah, that's when it happens. And yeah. I don't want to be in a situation. I can't risk my anything to be in a situation. Yeah, I had seen like uh, Adam 22. He said him and his girl got something. Oh, and he exactly. was just he was brushing it off like it was nothing. That's cool. what I'm saying. 
And like to me, a lot of people in my industry take like, okay, if it's curable, it's not that big of a deal. But like people don't see the effects. It's effects to like if you even if it's chlamydia or gonorrhea, it's effects to your body after yeah. you get yeah. it a certain amount of times. Like you can't just be out here just like, okay, I can cure it, it's not that big of a deal. Like mm. it's putting some impact in your body, whether if you know it or not. And mm. I just refuse to risk it. I'm twenty three by turn twenty four. I don't got no kids. I got hella nieces and nephews. I wanna have kids, so I don't wanna like risk my body for my job i'm just not doing it yeah they see you see them scratching they self like hey bro you on crack or what's going on yeah, scratching like, all it, around <laughs> i've like, been in some situations where i've been looked at people and we about to shoot and they hit me with the oh i ain't get my test results is it still okay and i'm like hell no <laughs> right? no, no like girl and i only shoot with women so it's like it makes me look at you different because you i'm already we pre-talked about this it's not like mm. it was something a mystery you got to show me your test results because girl i got tested i paid over 200 dollars to get this shit ex expedited yeah. so bitch i need to see yours and no i'm just not going off vibes this one girl this crazy i'm not gonna name her name but a couple weeks ago we went out to the club for my friend's birthday and she got invited out and i was gonna shoot her the next day mm. and one thing led to another we was vibing out and we decided to kiss, but then I stopped to reality after the kiss. I'm like, mm-mm, mm-mm. Because not, not to say I was judging her, but, like, she, like, got on one of my friends and, like, was twerking on him. And she didn't know him. Mm. That was their first night meeting. Their first time exchanging words. They barely, and when I heard the conversation from his end, he barely even said anything. And she was already on his dick. So Damn. it's like, you didn't want to show me your test results, but yet you in the club popping on a nigga that you don't even know no this my friend i know he good but it's like you don't know that yeah right. you don't know this nigga from nowhere so it's like but what if she was risk. doing what if she was doing that because she know he good but it's like i'm not even gonna hold you that's that's why i'm looking at you different yeah, now, yeah i'm looking yeah. at you because of that because that's my friend it's oh, not okay. your friend you don't know this man this your first mm -hmm. time meeting him y'all probably had she was probably in the club for less than 10 15 minutes before that happened. Did. so it was Damn. just like she was, she was ready. ready she asked her ready for a paper and when she started smoking and like she took her first shot it was like okay now she in her zone so it's like i don't know what she was doing before that but it made me be like okay i don't know because if you can't show me testers all but yet you want somebody in a club that you don't even know can't even risk it because it just gives me everything I need to know. Yeah, you don't know what she is. She could have been kissing the Uber driver on the way. Yeah, Something, you don't take no chance. Like, moving that I'm fast, not yeah. taking a chance at that point because mm -mm. definitely kissing the Papa cute, John's <laughs> worker. <yeah. laughs> not the Papa John's worker. They need love too. Not explain. Well, not that fast, love. <laughs> Yeah, just, keep just make that saying. fast food. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just one girl in the city. I ain't gonna say her name, uh -huh. obviously, but she be like doing like random shit. What she be doing shit with fans? And I was like, there ain't no way she testing every time. Mm. <laughs> I don't really. Okay, so my problem is that I, I'm. It's hard to differentiate like who's actually fucking fans and who's just saying that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I, you know, when people okay, and I'm sorry. I know people are like, what the fuck, but. If I see somebody shooting con like content with a condom on, and like that's just your regular thing, to me, you selling coochie. Like, yeah, you selling coochie. There's no, are you fucking on a trick? You fucking on somebody that's paying you because why every single one of your videos, that's all I see. Yeah. So it's like, as a female, I know that's something that every female don't want to do every single time. Like, mm. damn, you don't you don't find nobody comfortable enough. You could just like, okay, let's just not do this. That's funny because I think the same thing. When I see a condom, I'll be like, there's something going on. Like, yes, like, yeah. you got something. Y'all fucking for funds. Y'all like, y'all not supposed to be fucking or something yeah. like that. It just make me look at that, so... It'd be a nigga, he have a condom, then he have on a shiesty mask. Yes. Like, yeah. Oh. <laughs> You're like, yeah, that nigga cheated yeah, on his girl. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he so, won't get his ass yeah. beat if he get found yeah. out, for sure. I seen one, a nigga had on a, he had on a hoodie and some gloves. And like, yeah, that nigga got hand tattoos. What the fuck, His bro? baby mama might yeah. see it. Right? You nah, protect face, yourself. Something, something in that manner, it's not giving. May 5th, he gonna have a sombrero on. I, don't, I didn't stick around to see what else he no. did. I didn't see the wardrobe changes. I know I just seen the shiesty mask and I was like, yeah, this nigga up to something. But gloves is or like she OD. Up to so somebody up to something. Right, they just trying to hide. Like the gloves is kind of like OD, yeah. bro. Yeah. <laughs> the that's gloves is really OD. You have to have so many hand tactics that should be identif like, identified in the video. That's right. crazy. Yeah. I had to be on the same shit because I got a hand tattoo, so I, I had to be on the same shit. I had to put some gloves on or something. I ain't got to worry about that, brother. 
He's gonna see a long yellow hand. <laughs> shot. Hey, that like shorty for the back. Hey, that like bank still worker hand. Right. <laughs> you just look at the so they see the ash on this. Head. No, that's him. Oh, that's him. <laughs> we caught you. That's crazy zooming in on a nigga hands though. But it hey, sometimes it be like that. Does that happen? People just zoom in on okay, so certain shots. Honestly, this is just an honest truth, and it goes for men too. I feel like if you're laying down with somebody frequently and y'all are like talking or dating or any way, you know what they look like. Yeah. You know what they smell like because y'all don't been with each other for so long at this point. You just pick up on if you don't, you really don't fuck with them at that point. Yeah. Because it's like, be for real. You know, you know the girl that you lay with her signature smell. So it's like if you was to be blindfolded, yeah. you in a room with five people, and they say which one is your girl. You gonna know, like yeah, exactly. you gonna know. There's no way. She, so I can already imagine just how many people who got to hide that in because people would know they tattoos. It's really yeah. not that hard. It's not that many people got the same tattoo in the same place. Like yeah. that. That's just outrageous to even think. Yeah. yeah. So that's how forgot you know. the heartbreak kid right here, and then the Undertaker symbol. And we yeah, know exactly. that's you. I always just take my chance because there's so many people that's doing content now. So it's like, nah. what, What's the odds of somebody just coming across your shit? You. You, you gotta be surprised. You gotta be really. You gotta have some real bad luck for like. Are your you shit could just go viral on accident? You just never know. Like for real, for real. Some content I've seen, I've been like, "What the fuck? Why the fuck did I even see this shit?" Mm. And like, I don't see that most of the times. I'm like, "What the fuck?" For instance, that girl. I don't know if y'all seen it, but I salute her because she's the real one. She was fucking a ghost. She's telling like she's fucking a ghost. <laughs> I seen her. I have exactly. Her. I'm a part of the problem because I retweeted it and I said. I, I support her. I retweeted it too. I, I gave some hater comments. I retweeted. Oh, I said, damn. I said it's time to get a job. <laughs> Is this like the real? <laughs> like, she's no, fucking. Okay. She fucking a ghost. So let me tell y'all the bag. Let me tell y'all the bag. Let me tell y'all yeah. the tea on reason why she's very smart in my opinion. Okay. You gotta remember, there's fetishes out the ass like people yeah. have fetishes for anything like it doesn't matter people won't speak on it uh -huh. people have fetishes of anything i had a dude literally this is some wild ass shit he literally said you look like my sister what the i said what he said you look like my sister can you make a video of you playing your coochie and saying my name i said i just it took me a minute to respond because i'm like do i really want to do that that's kind of like weird but i'm just thinking to myself like I'm finna tax the fuck out of this nigga because I know yeah. he really wants it. I know he's that down bad. You got, yeah, you got like, so it's ten thousand dollars for that. Nigga, you <laughs> yeah. said I look like your fucking sister. You, you look, really you, down bad. You look like his sister, so he not about to come across other girls that look like you all exactly. the time. So it's like, yeah, he go was, ahead. He paid it's a one time price. only. He definitely paid that that price. I charged him five hundred dollars for a two minute video. Yeah, you you charged him five hundred thousand. Yeah, yeah. See. I didn't want to do too much. I knew he was going to come back. My my yeah, policy yeah. is don't overcharge to the point where they be like, okay, this is a one and done. I want yeah. somebody to be like, okay, I'm going to do this again. Because now I know that you have a fetish with a sister. So you're going to have to come back to me when you want something to know from her. Yeah. Because you can't just ask her. What's the cutoff point for the, for, the, for the sister shit? Okay, so I had this one dude. He literally <laughs> had this whole point. script like, oh, talk to me like you're my sister, like your siblings. I'm like, I can't do that. Yeah. I can't do that. I just personally, if it's something that I have to speak to you and like say multiple words and I have to like come up with a whole, you can be a whole dialogue, it just gets weird. Cause now it's like you're living in this whole fantasy of every single time you see your sister, you, you want to say these things. And I just personally can't. It just gives me weird. On the bright side, you might be helping them out because he might be one of, it might be one of those situations where. You also you gotta get some. You got I need some backstory on this, but it might be one of those situations where like he fighting the urges to like hop down on his sister. See, that's what so I was he's just looking too. at you. That's the reason why I was like, okay, I'm gonna do it because it's like in my offense, it's like what if one day he just break the urge and just rape this girl, like yeah. or just go on a fucking rampage because he just can't fight his urges no more. People are really like that's what I said the ghost thing plays into it. Yeah, because I remember people have fascinations with ghosts. You'll never see a ghost for real, for real. like yeah. you'll like so it's like people want to imagine it. That's why why you think scary movie threw that scene in. That's what exactly what the shit looks like. Scary exactly. Too, when the girl. Why you think they threw that scene in? Because people were like, <laughs> oh my god, like. But yeah, I wish I could do that. The scary two movie two shit was like unconsensual, also. Exactly. Just like what? Yeah. So, but and I seen people have rape fetishes. You gotta remember, there's a lot of weird ass fetishes. People tell me all the do. time to smack my lips together. That shit turns them on. I literally have so many videos of me just literally talking with the camera just up close to my lips. The fuck that, what the fuck that means? Smack your lips together, like. <laughs> yeah, like. <laughs> 
Like right a Jamaican. What the fuck? Like, like an upset Jamaican. Some people, some people out here. <laughs> no, but <laughs> the ghost one is hilarious. Like, damn, I want to fuck Casper. A That's people correct. saying, well, whatever you, you well, are. I'm about to, she been quiet. I'm about to bother. Yeah. Uh, What's the craziest uh, request you got? Request? Yeah. I know you done had some stuff, Sasha Banks. <laughs> no, please don't. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Winking my booty hole, like trying to open my butt to wink my butt hole. Oh, nah, that's fine. I fuck with that. I fuck with that that's one. Not, that's not, that's bad not that bad. That's not a bad fetish. She, she's, she's not like. <laughs> she ain't jump off the porch yet. Yeah, she ain't jump off okay. the porch yet. She's yeah. still like branching out from being vanilla. Oh, uh, she ain't get a, she ain't get a nigga yet hit up like, hey, piss in a sock. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She ain't get no get shit like, like that, that for sure. And I'm really surprised because. My fans be acting some outrageous ass shit. I just be looking like, what? This one dude, and he's so sweet, and I fuck with him there. He just really wants me to like literally pee in his mouth, and then make him eat his shit. And it's just like, whoa, that's crazy. You know, it's crazy. So I I, I produce a, a podcast called uh, Three or Four Talk, and she be interviewing like sex workers and stuff. He makes his. He's thrown off. This shit is like I'm a Vietnam vet right now. Jeez. This shit ain't. I'm not even flinching. I, 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 I don't exactly. hear. That I got shit. a fetish change sometimes because that's wild. Like I understand if you. Like, I like feet. Yeah, but dog, you get poo-poo, some dudes yeah, from nah. from me producing that podcast. You get some dudes. They'll hit you with a whole menu. Apparently, from what I heard, yes. they're like, you got to eat this for two days straight. Don't yes, break the diet. Literally gave me a whole breakdown. He said you got to take an an enema literally like two hours before we meet. And then I just want you to show me. Like, I remember one time I was fucking with this dude, and I thought he was so cool. He was so cute. He took me out, and we went back to his house. He, like, drove this uh, Porsche. And I was like, okay. He, you know, he's it was, a, it was out here? Yeah, it was out here. That was a morning He took me to his house, and I'm like, okay, we vibing. I just give him the coochie because I had a good time. And I'm like... I don't care about fucking on the first date because who the fuck cares? For real. And we was fucking and he like, okay, sit on my face. I'm like, okay. So I'm sitting on his face and he like, let me drink you. But I'm thinking he meant like squirt in your mouth because that's when I'm fresh. Like I'm mm. fresh into like dibble and dab. This would be like before porn. So I'm like, okay. So I'm like, okay, let me try to make myself squirt. But I'm like, he's just giving me head. I ain't never had to do maybe squirt off head. So I'm like, this is impossible. So I'm still trying to like, you know, still trying to do it. He like, no, pee in my mouth. And I'm like, hell no. Whoa. I was not expecting this to go all the way down. I really liked you. So it's like, I'm not looking at him different saying it, but I'm looking at him different because like, no offense when I say this, I can only do it to people that I don't like. Like I'm, I'm not like <laughs> genuinely trying to be with you. That's different. Then it's like, if I'm trying to be with you, that's not the first thing you asked me on the first link to pee yeah. in your mouth. Because, nigga, now I'm rethinking my whole choices with you. Because it's like, how many bitches peed in your fucking mouth? Like, uh, what? Apparently a lot. And I'm I'm just really shocked. And yeah. he's, like, trying to go all in. And I'm like, he stopped. And I drink water. And he's trying to make me drink all this water. And I'm <laughs> drinking it. And I'm like, okay, let's do this again. You know, I'm going to try. Mm. And I try and still. You took a water break? Nothing, yes. Bro, it's so that's like crazy. Gator, you should have had Gatorade on. So like you still, nothing. Nothing football. came out. I just couldn't even do it because I was just so thrilled. I looked at him and I said, I'm not even going to hold you. I'm going to have to just. She had shit like that. You got to like, you got to like, not let her coach you into it. You got to let somebody know you into shit like yeah, that. Yeah, you can't mm. just spring that on somebody because it's like, I'm riding your face. You just like. Put it in cold one. You put it in cold. So I'm already mm. looking at you like, okay, I think I know what you're saying, but I don't know what you're saying. Yeah. So it's like when he just said it directly, it's like. Cause when you spring it on him, it's kind of like it's kind of like one of them things where she most likely gonna say yes, even if she probably don't want to do it because like in the moment type thing. Yeah. Or it's so gonna be it's a hard no, and I gotta go. Yeah, yeah. like yeah. awkward Very no, hard. like yeah, nigga, this is it. We're done. I gotta get the fuck out of here. Yeah. And it's just like I try to thug it out, but when he just was like highly enforcing it like that's just something that's yeah, mandatory that's, to him that's kind of i was wild. like okay yeah. i'm gonna put on my clothes and let's just have a little brief conversation and i'm gonna fuck with you mm. and i'm gonna go home because i stayed down the street so i'm like okay i'm gonna go home and after he tried to hit me up 
and it was just like okay i'm i'm still trying to give him a bit of a doubt until it's this place called tokyo tokyo valentino it's a club mm. and they do all different type of nights like gay nights trans night lesbian night straight night etc so straight nights is crazy yeah because it's a <laughs> lot it's a sex club so like anything goes down for real for them i don't really care so he invited me to thursday yeah you remember you remember that name right no, we going straight nights nice, though. Uh, we're not going any nights. Nice, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not going to Tokyo. Is really a vibe. Like I don't been there before, so it's like when he told me to go on a Thursday, I immediately looked at him and I'm like, yeah, I know start. what that means. Wait, what, what day the right. Thursday is? Trans day. Oh. So I'm already looking at him in the message. I'm like, it's Atlanta. I'm like, <laughs> all right. Do he really mean? That? Like, do he mean Thursday? Like he said, yeah, me and my friends, we go every Thursday. I'm like, who is his friend? Yeah, so I'm immediately I'm asking him like Autobots roll what, <laughs> what friend are you going with? He sent me a video he sent me a page of a trans girl and I'm like Oh god This bitch is bad. Like this bitch is really bad, but I know she's a trans she says it. So mm. I'm like Okay, I know what type of time this nigga is on. So immediately I'm like I'm gonna let you know. I mean, I, that's already a hard no. If I'm gonna say I'm gonna let you know, I'm not fucking going. But I'm, I'm gonna let you know because I didn't want to be rude. Like, I have yeah. nothing against trans. It's just like, I would rather a man be open about it than be lying. Because now at this yeah. point, you lied to me. Mm. You can't just be like, oh, I'm straight. He might just, he might just have some trans homegirls. No, uh. he was fucking on him. Because here goes next. He goes next. He goes, yeah, after you can, if you don't want to go, you can just join the fun. All I right. said fun. What yeah, you, what's the fun? What do you mean <laughs> fun? Quote, unquote, like, fun. Y'all meet at the club? Like, y'all gonna be at the club still? I know the club, Tokyo 24 hours, so you can party there all fucking God night. The damn. music go all fucking night. It's which DJs. It's all beyond fucking night. sticky at this point. Exactly. So they have a dance for us. So I'm expecting, like, okay. He, like, nah, we gonna be at my house. I'm like, Red motherfucking flag. I they, know they going not going, going to the club. How many like, mops did he have if you would have went? Yeah, honestly, <laughs> I think he was with a smooth five people. Like, I don't even That's know. a lot of piss, bro. It, I'm just like, <laughs> no piss. offense. I just, yeah. I just can't. Now, I see, I'm not, I'm not homophobic at all. But sometimes I be do be looking at girls like OnlyFans and they like work with trans. And I be like. Uh, don't spring that on me like you've been working with, with men all the men and women all this time and then i just see yeah. a trans person and i'll be like come on <laughs> you'll ready. be surprised like i'm not even gonna hold you i did a video with a trans and it just was crazy like we didn't do too fucking much but it was more of like niggas was really asking for it that's the crazy yeah. part and when i dropped it i know it's the demand for you it it's just like that yeah. niggas was like i'm not i had a few fans that be like i'm i'm done fucking with you like i had this one fan he cussed me the fuck out like oh you're just da -da -da -da. i'm like it is what it is like i'm not really, that's yeah. my highest selling that's my top three videos i've helped i have over 200 some videos on my page that's my top three videos my two trans videos i got mm -hmm. those are my top three videos Besides the one I have with my partner, and that shit was a long time when I first started. Mm. Those are my top three videos, and that's crazy how much backlash people would think. Them niggas pay for that shit. Like, I do be seeing some dudes, they be like, at the end of the day, because you do watch, uh, when you watch porn, you watch a, a dude and a girl. Exactly. So it's like, the it's dude a, got titties. It got a, it's a nigga like, with titties. <laughs> literally. It's a nigga like, with titties. So. I had a whole bunch of niggas tell me It's kind of not different, for real, but it's just like one of the it's things where like. It's a pretty nigga bitch. That's what I'm going to say that. It's a pretty nigga bitch because. They're like, I ain't even going to open this door for this shit. I'm like, I'm going to slide. No, no. I ain't, about to get, I ain't trying to get curious Again, in my don't 30s. Spray it on me. So yeah. I'm going to keep scrolling. No. That shit crazy. bad ass trans, I'm not even going to hold you. They be bad as fuck. I be like. Damn, and they dick be so huge. You be like, why? Why did you convert? Why did you do that? I want to know because some questions I'd be like, damn, hmm, that's hey. just crazy. It, no, I'm telling you right now. Pretty nigga bitches is crazy. That's, that's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's very hilarious. I'm sorry, but no, because they be bad. Like I had a few. I'd be like, damn, it's a few in Atlanta. 
Yeah. It's a few trans in Atlanta. They be bad as fuck. I'm not even gonna hold you. Them bitches be bad, and I be really. They be getting niggas. They be getting niggas. That's how. Yeah, not I can be imagine. Surprised. Yeah, that conversation shut the door. Niggas in Atlanta <laughs> be getting <laughs> That nigga said what they talking about <laughs> right. in there. Hey, no, this ain't that top of five. Bro. Come back. <laughs> hey, come back, bro. Right, I want to step outside. But like you, yeah, y'all good. I be. That's why I'm not surprised. Niggas in Atlanta guys for baby pictures out here because. Huh? Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. What? what now? For verification. Yes. It's a verification. To make sure thing. you uh make sure you you are OG. It's like nothing against but oh, some shit. people don't be telling the truth. I know so many people that be like, bro, I'm not surprised if a lot of people out here they wise, they fucking on DL men because these niggas out here be ashamed. It'd be really crazy because when you go to the sex club in Tokyo, you'll be surprised of how many people you'll see fucking with a trans in there mm. undercover when they walk out they be trying to act like they ain't do none of that shit i don't see a few people and i'd be like hmm i'm gonna mind my motherfucking business because yeah. i came here to shoot some content that's all i came here to do y'all came here to do y'all peace but <laughs> tokyo is the land of they let niggas just do them and they gonna do them for sure it's a, yeah. it's so many Jamaican songs in my head right now. <laughs> Don't even. It's so many Jamaican songs. In my yeah, Atlanta something else. It is. It, it, I be saying all the like, it's not all the freaky shit just happened here that you see on the internet. Yeah. You see some some what some freaky. Have you seen? What you talked about recently with the uh, retwist butt naked? Oh yeah, it was a girl. She do retwist butt naked. Oh my god, Uh-oh. I just seen that on Twitter. So the girl who do it actually, I was gonna follow her, but I'm like. This is crazy. I would not want my nigga going into this. I'm going to have to beat this bitch ass. Like, yeah. this bitch. I, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Nigga, what? No. You going to nah. let your bitch get, a, get her hair done by a straight nigga who got his dick out just slinging? Pretty much. It'd be only charging 40 bucks. No, no. When I seen the dude, I mean, the dude was, had his clothes on. She was just naked. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. But he was yeah. stone That's what I'm saying. Like, you gonna let your girl do that? He just he's saying it like it's not that big of a deal. He was he was chilling though. He ain't, he wasn't yeah. touching or nothing. He was straight in the chair, just like but, this. But but Banks as a nigga with I got locks myself. Usually when when you uh, talk to a girl, they always kind of skeptical. I remember when my lock girl she actually used to do it at our house, mm. and that was always an issue. Yeah, and like, she like you better find her. You, you better find one. You are supposed to get a cut. That's one thing about a about bitch, that. and it's just crazy because I don't seen it happen. I don't never done it because I don't like doing niggas hair. I can do hair, but I refuse to do a nigga hair. Don't hit me up because I won't do it. You don't know how to cut but hair. I don't know how to cut hair completely, but I know how to like braid and twist, and I can lock hair. This is wrong today. They not cutting hair. We lose the recipe. But <laughs> 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 I'm not letting my nigga like no bitches really like retwist their way into some dick. I'm not even gonna hold you. Retwist. They will <laughs> like you be fucking surprised. Bitch, be like come over to my house. I'm gonna twist your hair. Then boo. Now you in some coochie. Yeah, you know something up when that retwist at 10 p.m. She's exactly. like, I'm only free 10 p.m. Like, bro, why is this bitch saying come to my house after 9? Why yeah. is she telling me to come out the dark? Bitch, yeah. you should be ready in the daytime. The, the fuck? You need natural yeah. light for your videos. Fuck yeah. you talking about? <laughs> yeah, if it's a retwist at 2 p.m., then it's like, it's just a normal retwist. Exactly. But if it's at 10 p.m., you yeah. like, Nobody's yeah. wanting to twist hair that fucking Don't wear way. no... Br- fellas, if you got a retest at 10 p.m., don't wear no draws. Yeah, because you don't need them. Well, you sound like a ditty party. But no, nah, she just definitely... Just make sure you don't naked. have a bitch, because she going to beat your ass when you come home. Oh, yeah, you, yeah, you get Sasha stabbed Banks, up. you let uh, one of your confidants, your boyfriends or nothing, go to a retwist place? I wasn't going to bother Sasha Banks no more. She chilling. No. She's not even paid attention. She's so into her phone. I ain't never seen somebody be more into their phone. She watching a TikTok. Gotta be. Yeah, if she watching TikTok, she gotta get her days and they getting TikTok the fuck up out of here. Yeah. That's crazy. They some hating ass people because it's crazy. Some people gotta lose money. Yeah, that's a fucking soldier boy made thirty k. I know. That's that's a live stream. I said, what the fuck? He's still making my money off MySpace too. He is. Soldier boy, yeah. I'm He's the first surprised. rapper to get on know, MySpace. We gotta do some research on that. <laughs> she, every time I see like a uh, um. OnlyFans girl, they every time they try and like convert to TikTok, they always get their page taken down because hey, they just do too much. I got my shit snatched because I had on sweats that said Pornhub, and I I accidentally put the that camera a little bit too high, so that shit got got. It was like, yeah, no, we're not. I said, damn, I didn't even think you could see it for real, for real. I was just doing to get ready with me. Yeah, the so best one was with you responding to people like they was like, "Yo, mom, know what you doing?" And you put your mom on camera. <laughs> my mom mm. is fucking hilarious because people swear up and down they don't be knowing. But my mom, when she be out in public with me and people come up to me, she just be looking at me like, "Just go ahead," because she don't have nothing to say. No problem, sir. Shouts out to Mama Majesty too, man. Yeah, the beauty runs in the family. 
we don't get along that much, but she, she gets on my nerves, but I love her. That's what it's about. She's supposed to come over tomorrow, sadly. Mm, sadly, it's crazy. She stayed right. 10 minutes away from me. That's really the crazy part. I tried to get away from her. I was in the city. She never came. I'm 10 minutes away. She wouldn't come over all the time. Like, girl. That's good. No, I got a house. Me and her stay together. Me and her over there. We stay together, and that is fine. We like our peace. We be peaceful. No. My mom, she be coming over really loud. She just be doing too much. No, cause you got, when your mom come through, cook something. Right. She cook something. She cook something. That's a free, that's a free meal. You can't pass that right. shit. Pass Hell that. yeah, I'm quick to say you cooking tonight because I'm gonna come down the street and get that plate for sure. Cause uh, uh. I don't want to cook every night. Adulting, I'm not even gonna hold you. Getting a house made me realize, okay, apartment was just like convenient because everything was just right there. Now I gotta walk up fucking. Two, three flights of fucking stairs to get Damn. to my room. Mm. And then I'm going back down and I gotta go hit the hallway and then get to my kitchen. Yeah, no. I'd be tired. I'm hey, you got a big ass house. Yeah, I'm about to be like. Oh, yeah. Hey, I'm moving in. Hey, what Chris Tucker said in the <laughs> rush hour, he said, hey, let me come spend the night, man. <laughs> <laughs> I love my house. It's the best decision I made for real, for real. Definitely something uh, I can't say in an apartment. It was too small. Yeah, good, good investment. You own it. Right. If you ever want to leave, you can just sell it. I'm right. still waiting because I decided to rent it first. We're renting it because it's a new house. We're yeah, the first yeah. people to stay in it. So I didn't want to like jump. Jump into like, a commitment. Okay. Yeah. And it'd be like hella problems because the landlord, we ain't going to speak too much on her, but she a little bit. She might be watching. Everybody got bad land. I don't think anybody said, damn, my landlord's solid. That's she just something you know what I'm saying. She just, you can tell she's young and she don't really know too much of what she's doing. Mm. Right. She one of the people that bought a house during the pandemic. They're flipping. Right. right. Bought hella right. houses. Yeah, PPP. Like, forex still. Yeah, PPP loan. Yeah, she definitely still do Forex too. <laughs> did, did she wear did she wear a pantsuit? She actually did when I moved in. That's uh, yeah, there, you go. there you go. I think that's a little thing funny. too. Ask her what she ate last night. She's gonna say chicken Alfredo. <laughs> or shrimp. <laughs> or one of the big ass Philly cheese steaks. I had a Stouffer's lasagna. <laughs> all right, that's all that's what I need to know right yeah, there. Right, right. You that's you nice. just got in the game, player. I understand. Uh, yeah, I definitely gotta come through. I gotta chase that dog. First of all, he's bad. He's in the cage. I know he probably done peed on himself. I went to Peter because we've been out damn near all day, and I forgot mm. to take him out. Well, I did take him out before we left, but it's been a good enough time. And he pooped on the fucking couch. He's a dickhead. Damn. My dog is a dickhead. He knows what not to do, but to piss me off when I make him mad in the slightest way, he'll do that. And I'll literally see him on the camera. Like I'll replay it back. <laughs> And he'll just be like looking dead in the camera, like, yeah, <laughs> bitch, I'm doing this right here. He doesn't care. And that's why he's in the cage, because he's bad. That's crazy. What's your dog name? Cash. Cash? Okay, that makes sense. I had a, like, <laughs> so his name was Poodle at first, but then I just looked at him and I was like, this is going to be a rich ass dog. So his name is going to be Cash, because I like Cash Money Records. Mm. So really bad. So that's the name I stuck with, Cash. Maybe we go top five favorite Cash Money Records. <laughs> um, every girl in the world has no order. Um, she picked the most problematic song they had um, in the discography. Yeah, that definitely is. Dead rock. <laughs> uh, Wait, that's Young Money. She picking all the Young no, Money shit. No, that's all of them together. No, nah. don't be technical. Yeah, it's Cash yeah, Money. Start being a nerd. Well, actually, that's all of them together. Maybe a few of them didn't hit the like the lows. They was in the video still, so I'm counting as all of them together. Yeah. Um. Fuck! I just was listening to this song the other day. It's on the same this, album. As most of them should be big world. timers anyway. So yeah, I know, yeah, and it's boys. literally slipping my mind right now. And I literally be listening to that shit all the fucking time. Uh, do, do you listen to Cash Money before you prep for your scenes or anything? Okay, so what I listen to before I prep to my scenes, it depends on what scene I'm shooting. So like, if I'm trying to get in like a good zone, if I'm shooting a GG scene, more than likely I'm listening to some like R&B. And for all the people that don't know what GG stand for, the acronym, what is girl it? Girl on girl. Okay. So That's the I usually am, like listening to R and B because I'm more of an R and B type person. Occasionally, I have a wow. Y'all be surprised. You go through my fucking phone, you'll be like, "What the fuck?" I have rock and roll in there. I have jazz. Let me see. Yeah. For the have, listeners, I'm gonna I'm gonna say it while you name it. I'm gonna look through it. I have fucking. I was just listening to um. Listen to R Kelly. Music. Okay, so we had just came from that R and B event, right? And they was playing R Kelly, and dude was like, "There'll be no R Kelly slander over here." And I, she wasn't dancing to it. She like, "I'm not gonna dance to it." I was, "I'm not gonna go with you." They was playing um, 
Let me get that. This is my song for real. No, And I'm like, you cannot just not sing to this. Especially the part where he was hitting a little note. Filling all your booty. That part, you gotta sing it. That shit crazy. I think like people, cause the nigga about it, the nigga doing thirty years. I think people like more out of the closet with they R. Kelly fandom now. Mm-hmm. It's like getting more like yeah. accepted, cause like people is like, <laughs> me personally, I ain't really listen. To, I only listen to, like maybe two R. Kelly songs. I didn't got to the. You don't have to look at me like that. I, so, I show you my phone. I just got two R. Kelly songs in there. I'll yeah. show it to you right now. I can't go through your phone, bro. I just I listen to two R. Kelly songs. I don't listen, not listen to the nigga so much. It's like one of the things, like like out of sight, out of mind. It's like I just don't. I ain't gotta listen to him. I'm not even gonna lie. I have a few R. Kelly songs on my playlist just only because my mom. That's really she played a lot of like R and B when I was growing up. So that's all I really know for real, for real. Yeah, and my pops too. He just play R. Kelly all the time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Some people still play it. It's, it's unfortunate that they do that still. It's just like I'm not even. Gonna, I don't support shit that he stand for because first of all. I think back then when I was younger and I would hear like his music, I would think to myself like he was already talking about these kids. How the fuck didn't y'all notice? But I feel like the older generation, the reason why they so I don't want to listen to him no more because they feel so guilty. Y'all was the reason why this nigga was doing all the shit he was doing. Because he was doing it in front of y'all eyes. Like, literally, he was snatching kids in the the audience and taking them on the stage. And nobody was saying shit to him. Nobody. Now, Now that he don't got... Ex, um, he done got in the trials for that shit. Now everybody like, oh, yeah, we feel so bad. Where was y'all at when he was chopping on people in that fucking mansion? And it was it was known then. Just Nobody was saying know. nothing then. I think they ain't say nothing because those girls was actually grown, so they're like, by the time you actually, actually, was, actually I'm about by the time say, we start fucking with grown women, <laughs> we let you have what you are doing. Like, they was, was barely legal. That was the crazy part. It's just yeah. like even then, still nobody had nothing to say. So it's like. Don't get me wrong. I'm glad the nigga in jail. He deserved to be in fucking jail. He gonna be in there for a long ass time. Yeah, they was getting this one dude up out of here. He was talking about uh, he he was he lived in Chicago. He did a podcast and he was talking a story about like how R. Kelly took like one of his girls. Yeah, that's what and he t- was <laughs> saying that like and it was in like he said he was like in middle school. Yeah, he said R. Kelly took one of his girls. And then he was like, yeah, R. Kelly was always up at the middle school and high school getting the girls That's playing his own saying. music. And they, was can- yeah. they were canceling the dude. They were like, why he ain't do nothing? I'm like, bro, that dude was like 12 <laughs> years old. What the fuck he <laughs> supposed to do? <laughs> oh, my God. R. Kelly's picking up my girl. He probably about damn near starstruck, too. Like, oh, shit. <laughs> but it's while he was playing his own music, pulling up. Like, exactly. like, he ain't going to try to be discreet at all. And uh, first of all, see, nobody was saying that when he was pulling to middle schools. And that's not the first time I heard a story of somebody saying he was at a middle school and a high school just posted up. And wait for them to get out. Yeah, people. I be, hearing, like, I be hearing like mostly Chicago people. They be like, "Yeah, I seen R. Kelly at my school." And it be like people. It be people that was like kids, and I was like, "What the fuck was they supposed to do?" Right. I was like, what was the yeah, teacher? Yeah, I ain't at? mad at them. I'm mad at the teachers because yeah, like, yeah, what the teachers they come motherfucking way exactly yeah. up there at the fucking car with them trying to get picked too. Yeah, yeah, that's what I see it as. In your room. That's all. <laughs> they <was doing>. Shit, <laughs> they were probably bringing students to argue. Yeah, nigga that's singing like yeah. He was probably hey, fucking paying him. Listen to my demo tape. Right. I'll bring you to that shit nasty. I'm only making thirty thousand a year. You could take this little motherfucker. Yeah, that shit nasty. I that's crazy. Be surprised. I would not be that surprised. That nigga that nigga right where he deserved to be. Hell fucking yeah. You, had, that goddamn you ever had uh older men say something to you? I mean, we'll ask for like fetish content or anything like that, playing R. Kelly. No, <laughs> I'm so glad because I really be creeped out. I'd be like, mm. a 71 year old. But why R. Kelly? Like, why is that a precise thing? To me, it's giving you like you thinking I'm like a fucking 15 year old. Yep. That's what it's well, giving yeah, me. You yeah. want me to throw in R. Kelly to set the mood? You don't and get dudes like, like that hit you up because I know you you got that uh, dude with a sister, but you it okay, gotta be so, some dudes that like yeah, the yeah, yeah. There levels. was this one dude he asked me to like do age play, and I will not do that shit. I don't give a fuck. Absolute. I won't do that shit. I won't do age play or race play because I'm not going back and forth and oh, saying real. anything about race because that's just crazy. I would never sell out that much. We well, could want to play Django on chain or something. No, you, I'm you not playing that shit because I'm. I'm the master and you the slave. That's the domination side of me. We'll do that. But there is no Let's I'm go. the slave and you the master because That's nigga, I do the whip around here. Again. It ain't no fucking another way around. <laughs> I do the whip around here. Ain't shit else. Mm-mm. Can't do it. And I had a nigga try like, oh, call us me as master. I said, oh yeah. You mean cracker? He said no. Nigga. He said he said call him master. No, no. Hell but no. you said nigga. Yeah, yeah. I know. Oh he's well, a yeah. 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 Well, that man said call him master, and I said who. I looked at the message, I said, 
oh you into that type of stuff uh uh-uh. uh he said but I'll offer you 500 I said uh uh-uh. uh no. because nothing in the books will ever have me go on the internet and say that I ever called a white man a master because fuck yeah. who I look like this yeah. is not that like I said I do the whipping around here Ain't no other way around. Nobody's giving me no golden showers. I do the peeing on people. There is no uh uh-uh. uh. Oh There's yeah, nothing. that shit gonna be ammo for you forever. Cause every time you say something on Twitter, somebody retweet that shit. Say this you, like Bruh, this you with that white man exactly. right here. Exactly, bro. Oh my gosh, I have content with a white dude, and I have two videos, y'all. Two, two. One video of me fucking this man for less than fucking four minutes. Four minutes because I know I'm so sorry to say this. I just genuinely can't can't even fuck a white man on camera. I can't even fuck white man on my own time, but fuck mm. white man on camera. I just I don't I'm know. About, I don't uh, think I leveled up I'm in about that life. Put you on blast. So it was it was. I'm trying to tell your business. Oh God! I'm about to tell your business. I'm telling you already stated the two times that I did. And I, I hit your home girl up. Can we say her name? Yeah. That you did the podcast with? Yeah. All right. I hit Nevy up. I was like, and I seen y'all with an uh, Easter bunny. And yes, it was a white man. It was a white man in an Easter bunny costume. I was like, what is this? Okay, so let me tell you a funny story about that. And crazy story, because me and Nevy, we kind of fell off, but I don't have no bad intention toward her. We just, you know, went separate ways. Mm-hmm. I don't really know what she's doing now, but. Well, she, she did our show and she praised you. She said she. she yeah, said I still. She loves you. Genuinely, I really do love her. Like, we talked. Mm, in like October ish and oh, no, y'all don't love each other that's long yeah, that's, that's long, long time. Ass time. no I'm, I'm that's cool. what I'm saying I'm it's just I'm genuinely some people just need space because yeah, yeah, we yeah, was yeah. with each other for like a year non-stop being with each other every single day we was traveling every day together so it's like sometimes certain things happen just show people like okay you need to expand you need to do other things which yeah. is no problem still have love for her like honestly I was debating on hitting her up not too long ago cause I'm like damn I, my fans be acting on her all the time and I be like oh I wonder how she is cause y'all need a reunion collab we haven't yeah my fans be asking for it so if you next time you talk to her tell her to text me I got you because yeah Definitely. but to tie back to that Easter video so we what we needed to do to get in the Easter bunny like costume and I was getting trained by this white dude he used to date a porn star. So we were talking at our training session. I was telling him, he asked me what I do. And I was telling him, like, just FYI, I do porn. Like, I know this is a male predominant, like, gym. So, like, some days I'm not going to want to work out at certain times because I just don't want to run into people. And it's mm-hmm. be awkward. He was just telling me, like, oh, I'll make sure, like, I come up with a schedule so you know when not to come. So one day. I thought you would say, I do porn, too. That would have been crazy. He did, he did say he shot with his ex who did porn one video, yeah. but he just couldn't because of his, like, who he was. He's a trainer, so he was trying to actually... And he used to play football for the Falcons. Oh, okay. So he was like, I can't just dibble and dabble in that. I'm like, okay. So he was trying to talk to me, and I'm, like, trying to keep professional. But one night, I ended up fucking up, and I asked him to come to the house where we were shooting content because a girl asked for a white dude. Hmm. I'm like... I know a white dude that'd probably be down. He had an answer first ring. So I'm like, okay, you gonna drive 30 minutes away. Like I have a friend. Well, that's I have, a lucky motherfucker. I have two or three friends Period. that wanna fuck you. If you come down here and shoot, like you can show me your test results. It's white privilege. You can do what you want. Yeah. You can do what you want. <laughs> he came in less than fucking 30 minutes. He was already there. He was ready. He just showed his ID. Like, he came, in 10 he came Bro, fucking on, man. <laughs> and everything. So I'm like, okay, okay. They did, they do, and after i'm like damn nephew was just like okay well let's just like somewhere get in the scene with him i'm like okay well let's just wait so easter came around and he was texting me and i'm like damn nephew was like why not just ask him we don't got no way to shoot with so i'm like i asked him like would you get in this easter bunny costume i bought this easter bunny costume we need somebody to get in this bitch like it's mm. a full body suit so i need you to be comfortable to get yeah, in never don't play games i'm gonna tell you a story after we get done <laughs> and he like okay so he gets in the suit and we're in my house and I'm telling him like, okay, this is how the scene goes. Don't take off the mask. You don't need to see your face. All I need is like to cut a hole where it gets. Mm. That's about it. That's the only thing we need in the scene. He like, okay. But during this scene, it was only supposed to be a head scene. He pissed me off because after I had just told him like, okay, the first thing we shot, the little four minutes of fucking, I'm like, we'll never do that again because it just wasn't there for me. Like, yeah. you were having a grand time. I wasn't having a grand time, so I'm not even going to put myself through that. The head thing, I could get through it because mm. it's not that big of a deal. So, while we're doing it, he's just, like, in my ear in the video, and I tried to cut it out as much as I could because, literally, he's like, oh, 
bend over, let me fuck you right now. I'm like, <sighs> I literally, I, at a point in the video, I had like, wow, I'm like giving him, I'm like literally leaning my head like, I just fucking, t- <laughs> I'm going off of him like, I just fucking told you don't ask me that before the shoot. Like, we already went over the rules. Don't get beside yourself because mm. I'm quick to tell you to get the fuck out of my house. This is my house. So you can easily go. So as the scene goes, he's still in the bullshit. So in between the scene, when, we get, when I feel like it's a certain amount of time that we don't got, I'm like, let's just dead this because I already see he just going to keep going overboard and I'm um, I'm not even comfortable no more. So mm. let's just go. After he ended up leaving, he's still trying to talk and I'm like, I'm ahead of his shit. Like, you can go. Yeah. I walked him out the door. He thought I was joking. I'm not joking with you. He never heard from me again after that. Damn. Don't even play with me. You definitely lost it for yourself. Because he's a cute white boy. So it's like, I thought I can give an opportunity, but you too thirsty for coochie. Like, it just gives, yeah. you don't give coochie. You like, you don't get coochie. So what the yeah. fuck? What do I got to fuck you for? Exactly. I'm not fucking Damn, you. Damn, man. He lost a bag too because he was training you. Exactly. Like, nigga, I was paying you fucking $300 a month. See? To fucking train me. I'm not going to you no more. I refuse. We follow him on Instagram still. He finally got the girlfriend, the black girl that he deserved. <laughs> Good. <laughs> no, that's, yeah, that's, that's what he like his milk. <laughs> it wasn't going to be me, for sure. It wasn't See, what, that's what the Bible talk about. See, what the Bible talk about greed. See what greed gets you. It gets you mm, nowhere right. because how you go from fucking three bitches one night to none? Because all you want to be greedy. That's yeah. the problem. What I say, Banks? Hey, God, God be, be blessing, blessing the wrong, wrong people. <laughs> T-shirt coming soon. God be blessing the wrong people. God be blessing the wrong soon. people, bro. That's crazy. That would have been me. I would have been humbled in the world. But yeah, man. back to what I was saying, Nevi don't play games. I remember one time. So I was actually, produ- Nevi was about to drop a podcast, and I was producing for her. She, I rec- we recorded three episodes. It never came out. <laughs> but she was over at the studio. We was having like a meeting. And like I don't know how we got on the topic. It was just like, it's a girl. It's a porn chicken. Uh in jacksonville and she just be thirsty looking for women to do content with she be hitting me up all the time and i'd be like i was gonna if, ask her name but we're not gonna do that we talk about it off here yeah. if okay. you want to work with her or you just want to no, know her I name i just want to know her name so i can stay away from her oh mm-hmm. okay right. anyway right. so <laughs> <laughs> it's a white woman let's go so yeah <laughs> so she uh she always be hitting me up i don't know why like i don't know why you think i'm the plug but so i come across with somebody i let you know so i told nigga like hey this girl she said she wanted to do some content yeah so it was tuesday when we was having a meeting i look on twitter they already done shot something they got the trailer uh, i'm damn. like damn y'all don't play fucking games right didn't it? i respect it though Anybody in their craft, yeah. whatever they doing in life, like, let's get it done right now if we can. So yeah. See, I'm not really like that. That's my problem. Like, I'm not even going to hold you. You got one time to rub me the wrong way. Bitch, I'm done. Yeah. I don't want to shoot you because I feel like I go off energy and vibes. I feel like when you try to, don't get me wrong, I'm always type of to get the scene done. We're going to get the scene done. We're going to work. Mm. But if I feel like, in a sense, something off or, like, anything, I'm going to tell you, okay, we can wait another day. Are we just not going to do this no more? Sorry mm-hmm. for wasting your time. I reimburse you. But, yeah, no, I had a few times I don't, like, have people come. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to shoot with them. And then they do something that run me the wrong way. And I'm like, I can't Hell even no. fake the funk. Like, I'm not even the type of person. Like, yeah, money comes first. But I'm not that money hungry to just be like, okay, I'm just going to say fuck it. Even though they put me in a bad mood to still shoot with them. Because yeah. it just goes against how I feel. And mm. I'm heavy on a standing on how I feel because yeah. at the end of the day, if you don't stand on how you feel, nobody is. Yeah. I respect you because I think it seemed from the outside, it seemed like you got your set girls that you work with. Yeah. And a lot of people ask me, they're like, oh, you only work with these amount of people. And I'm like. Y'all the NWO. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm not going to hold you. My friend, Ren Cash, people call us the Holy Trinity. Like, people love us together. So it's yeah, like, yeah. if I'm already making money this amount of money with these people why would i sit up here and keep having to branch out and we're already friends like besides the content we could shoot 20 scenes in a day and we'll go out we'll go to the club and get drunk and the next yeah. day we just be chilling like a lot of people don't get that a lot of people would be like oh they gotta fake be gay i don't have to fake be gay with my friends i'm already like comfortable and i'm already we already here we already tested we already done talked about it I don't have to like do the extra so like and I trust them in order to tell me if they ever was to catch something it wouldn't be uncomfortable to talk about the situation a lot of yeah. people don't want to talk about that so and you hit them with the plastic yeah. anyway you hit them with the MasterCard 
<laughs> even if brother. that, I'm not even gonna hold you. I don't like wasting my strap on a lot of people just for yeah. simple reasons because it takes a lot to clean a strap. Like I gotta clean the the fucking material part of it. Yeah, I gotta throw that bitch right? exactly. Yeah, I gotta how does disinfect that. Work? that. Cause I've always wondered how somebody clean it. Okay, so I put mine in a washing machine and then I'm like, well, first of all, I disinfect it. Like you, I wipe it with Clorox wipes and all that stuff, and mm-hmm. then I wash it. And then yeah, I use it again. God damn. Yeah, I'm not just gonna like OCD the gimmick. Hell yeah, because I just don't want to risk it. I don't want to risk it ever. That's a lot of risk to be putting. Mm. I don't even like using the same dildos on people. I'll try to swap that bitch out anytime because mm-mm. I just feel like anything can happen. You can wash something. I just don't want to take no risk with anybody. That's real. And I people stain that. dildos. That's I had what this the one fuck? girl. She stained my dildo with her lip gloss, with her lipstick, and it pissed me off because I'm like, <laughs> you got to put this in your coochie. Mm. What the fuck kind of lip gloss she had on? <laughs> she had on lipstick. It was like a, a brown lipstick, and it was just like. It's a Dollar Tree lipstick. Girl, this got to go in your coochie, not mine. <laughs> so I ain't even. I ain't going to say too fucking much. That's funny because I'm thinking about it. You got the strap on, and she just sucking it. You probably like, I don't feel this shit. First of all, <laughs> y'all just see my face with, with somebody like, I mean, I might as well hold you. I'm like half nigga and half female. I have my niggish ways, and when I'm definitely strapping someone, don't let me be drunk. It's 10 times I'm pulling out straight nigga because. I'm pulling out all the tricks. You're going to be looking at me like, this bitch damn near got a dick. Because you, about, you put the one leg up? Hell, fuck <laughs> yeah. I remember one video I had put a foot on my friend's head. Oh, Lord. God damn. That, sh- that video went viral for a good little minute. Me putting, because Emily was like, this big bitch. And don't get me wrong. She's like, she's 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 thinking of me. Like, she's not considered mm. a BBW, but she's she's definitely thinking of me. So it's like, my skinny ass dominating her and putting my head up, my foot on her head is just crazy. Yeah. Niggas is like, whoa. Banks said he need a link. Yeah, that's yeah, that, yeah. That's that. Yeah, yeah. We we be, we watch it from a distance. We we, we all we tap dance since the <laughs> yeah. last podcast. <laughs> so we so we support you from a from we support you. Uh, you know, I, yeah, I support ain't from you. a distance. I'm up close, brother. Oh yeah, yeah. It's not even from a distance. We, <laughs> we, we, you know, know. I'm y'all close. know I love y'all the most. Yeah. Appreciate it. <laughs> I'm running back with it straight, full ahead, <laughs> run through a motherfucking face with the content. <laughs> Yeah, because I, I be seeing this shit like, randomly on Twitter. I'm like, oh, that's Majesty. That's what's up. Right. She's still in the game. Even though I already know she in the game. Like, this is still good. <laughs> You're like, damn, she her shit getting out there. How you feel when you just randomly see your stuff on, like, Twitter? You Do you get mad? Because it's, it's so much of porn, like, Twitter pages. It's like. No, I don't get mad. Um, when I first started, I would get mad because I'm like, damn, I'm getting deleted all these fucking times. So it's like, damn. But now, I don't feel the type of way because it be crazy. Even like my regular friends, they be sending me stuff and they be like, oh shit, that's you. Like, I don't have one of my friends. <laughs> it is you. She doesn't send me a video and at the end she's like, oh shit, I didn't even know that was you. And I'm like, oh damn, I'm just laughing because I'm like, damn, that's funny. I forgot about that video. Mm-hmm. I like, I don't really take anything towards it anymore. I take it as of, I feel like my content is good enough for people to steal it. So, like, mm-hmm. I mean, that. you're slightly popping. I mean, you're doing something yeah. right. Yeah. So, yeah, that's how I take that. And I do like it because, um, well, I don't like them stealing shit from you, but I do like when they put the name of the person on it. So like, yeah, I like, like when people. If you go, my problem is you can steal it because hey, I know times out here is hard. It is it is people? I tell my scam pages all the time, just fuck with me. At least, at least be honest. Don't be out <laughs> here just. Do don't be out here putting cheap ass prices. You gonna you gonna pretend to be me, bitch. Take it high. Don't yeah, take it fucking $20. low. Twenty dollars. Because they gonna come to me and be like, your fake page said this. Bitch, I did not say that. Mm. The least I tell them all the time, don't go under a hundred. Just please, because I ain't looking at me talking about you selling coochie. One dude came out live and said you promised me coochie for four hundred dollars. Mm. Four hundred dollars. I looked at him and I said, the man said promise coochie. Me, <laughs> I, I promised you weird. He said on TikTok. On said, TikTok is crazy, <laughs> right? Nigga, I don't even be on TikTok on for real, places. for real. Like, be fuck for real. My my two TikTok pages, you literally could tell that it's my page because I kid you not, there is no more other videos Damn. other than the videos I have on there. So like, you could tell the fake pages who got my videos from Instagram and put it on there. I just be looking at them like. Y'all are so dumb. Hey, brother, if you're watching it, Gerald promised you coochie for four hundred dollars. No, like I feel majesty. bad for y'all. He did. Tony, not Tony promised. Tony owe you coochie. That nigga Steven. in his fucking basement promised you coochie because I ain't even say nothing. Thursday night at Tokyo. That, that's who promised him that coochie. <laughs> <laughs> 
a week. But yeah, I be saying they be adding the people. I'm like, oh, okay, that's what's up. I put in the bookmarks, watch it for later. But oh yeah, the bookmarks. <laughs> My Twitter, oh, crazy. yeah, huh? man, they showing bookmarks on the timeline now. Oh, really? they gonna be upset when yeah, they see not. More. You can't. Nobody else can see it. You see it, but it's still crazy though. Yeah, I'm not even told you when I had seen it. I'm like, damn, they show your fucking. Yeah. Yo, what is it called? It's not even like a pin. It's like a media now where you can like pin certain tweets that yeah. if, if people go to your page, that's what they see first. Yeah. If they choose to. And that's just crazy to me. I'd be like, damn. Hmm. Damn, they're going to see like, uh, with the With the sex workers, they be having, because, you know, Elon, he fucked the website up. But the one thing, fuck niggas snap with this, he added the highlights. So yeah. all the girls they just add their highlights. If yeah. you got to verify it, I'm like damn, I don't even got to scroll through the media. I just check right. the I just check the highlight <laughs> right. We we'll made it right easier for me. Let's yeah. cut to the chase. <laughs> right, get to the right. That's where all the that's why I put all my prime videos right there in the highlights. There you go. Because that's what you first thing they see when you come to my page, for yeah. sure. Hey, we we vibing, but we in somebody else's studio, y'all. We at we in Atlanta. If you ain't know, this ain't the typical place. They but, in my um, city. Yeah, we like Ti. Yeah, right we in we yeah. in her city, so. <laughs> It's the tip that I have. I'm weak. You check yeah. this out. We out here, 500 that's studio. That's the worst tea. That, if that's a ti. Hey, hey, that's the worst. Don't TI. worry about my de- decapitation. <sighs> I'm on right. proclamation right now, Shotty. What? Well, he getting that? Whatever that shit is. Like, we're gonna play this game just really quick. We're gonna do three. You know when we do the pod. You know we always vibe out and shit. You gonna jump in, Sasha Banks? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I ain't gonna bother. Sleep, Sasha Banks alone. She <laughs> vibing. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> We are gonna we gonna pull like three or couple couple cars. Nothing, nothing crazy. Right. Talk when I do that. I thought I could multitask, but I can't. No, you can't. Yeah, no. First of all, it's Go just ahead. you in this hat. Why? Yeah, that hat look crazy. You were like at a BC. Yeah, you put it on. Uh uh-uh. uh. First of all, you remember <laughs> Ray J? You remember Ray J? No, not even that. You remember Ray J when he had that scene in Love and Hip Hop? He was going viral with him moving the fucking hat about yeah. forty times. That's my cousin. We gonna see how many times you move the hat. Oh, this several. Episode. I always move my hands. We gonna see. Yeah, he like add a BC off. Um, what's the odds? Yeah, black skin add a BC. <laughs> First of all, y'all know it's crazy. I just watched that this year. So like, when growing up, I seen it and I had my mom watch it. But I'm like, that's not the type of shit I'm into. But then like, <laughs> I'm watching it now as I'm older. I'm like, damn. It's, yeah. it's it's a good show. You gotta get across the get yeah. past the, yeah. the Tokyo already, Thursday. Yeah, I was about to say once you get a part all, past all that shit, I realized that yeah, it, it actually. Really what? No, it made me stop when they uh when they took it from the dude in a wheelchair. Yeah. I was like, all right, y'all doing too much, yeah, bro. Yeah, I'm not even gonna hold you. I think I just recently watched the episode and I was like, I was whoa. Like, <laughs> I was like, come on, Brian, no wheelchair. He can't protect those stuff. They no. Just took him out the wheelchair. Or the fucking episode with the Mexican dude at the pool table. I was like oh this is crazy he's yeah. getting gang raped and he's getting raped by these fucking pool table sticks this is wild oh like, uh, yeah that show yeah no <laughs> hey but i will say it is that was that was my scared straight right there oh, i yeah, watched a couple yeah. of episodes of oz i was like yeah i ain't getting locked up yeah that i like, y'all got it. it yeah i'm gonna tell my kids to watch that shit <laughs> no I, would, I wouldn't recommend that but we yeah. gonna skip past them episodes we're gonna get past no the no they need to see that kinda, yeah, yeah they do of, because we're gonna scare y'all niggas straight yeah next beyond time scared straight not enough yeah. it's not enough that's for or, sure enough my cousin was on the episode of beyond scared straight <laughs> no he's on scared straight the old school one that was on mm-hmm. mtv not beyond scared straight I don't know. Yeah, he was I'm on gonna there. I'm going to send my dog on. They didn't have a pound beyond scary straight. My dog need to be you on there. You got to get the Spanish, the Mexican man. Because that nigga bad. The, I'm going to send his whisper. ass to the pond. The fucking, what is it? Uh, Not the Jose, pawn shop. I don't know. It. That's I'm racist. saying the pawn shop. I'm thinking about raining fucking dogs. The goddamn pound. I'm going <laughs> to take that nigga there and have him do a tour. Just, this just, is the life that you can live. Yeah, just leave him there with the pit bulls. They're going to be, hey, cuz, we heard you tripping. You got the house shit now. <laughs> no, they need to do a pep talk of this nigga because he's bad. I'm gonna give his ass up. No, I'm not. Nah, leave cash alone. Yeah. I'll be sad. It's uh, some wild shit. Yeah. Type of yeah After everything we heard about the sister stuff, that's wild. Oh yeah, last time we was playing that game. Uh, the, well, y'all gotta watch that episode. Yeah, a classic. Yeah. <laughs> Whole time I was grinning like this. <laughs> Damn, I try to find a good card. All right, um, describe the worst bed you ever had sex on. Mm-hmm. Um, air mattress with holes in it. I don't think I've ever fucked on air mattress. 
<laughs> oh. Okay, so this is this is something I've never talked about. It's the first time me ever saying this to anybody because I took this body to the grave. Oh, man. So, it was this one dude. I had a link with him just off of... We was talking... We was texting for a little minute, and he like, oh, come over so I could teach you. He was going to put me on to his mom's business. So, I'm like, okay. I'm always down to learn some business. So, we get there. Immediately, I know this is not business. This nigga stay in a fucking hood, like... <laughs> the hood hood to the point where I'm like can I even park my fucking car here because no. I'm scared that somebody's gonna break into my fucking Nissan Shit. my Nissan they do business they do business in the hood so I'm like okay <laughs> but I'm, literally I'm not trying to judge him cause I'm like it's no judge so I walk in this nigga house immediately I'm judging cause I'm like it's shit everywhere it's shit everywhere it's like the fucking bando it's like a bando with a baby in it it's like the main bitch you live like this yeah he like this is my brother house I'm thinking myself like where do you stay why would you bring me to your brother <laughs> on the shit? floor so we we chilling and we watch the tv on the couch and i'm like this is so awkward but i'm still like okay he's cute so i'm like let me not judge because like i'm not from the the fucking whitest of the whitest but i'm not from the hood i can't even sit up here and claim it so right. it's like i don't been in hood situations right. so i'm not even judging i'm not judging right. but he we started kissing and one thing let's know he like come upstairs so i'm expecting to be in bed up there yeah. I'm like, okay, we get upstairs. It's nothing. It's a blank ass fucking room. So I'm like, I ain't never fucked on the floor, but we already here. You know, at the time, this is my problem at the time. That's why I grew up. <laughs> I never petty fucked, but I petty fucked that day because I'm like, it's already too late. We'd already escalated. I had this nigga carry me up these fucking stairs. Like, <laughs> he's skinny as hell. Sorry, no, I don't put a little dent on this nigga. So I'm mm. like, fuck. I gotta get him some Gucci. So we upstairs. He pulls out the condom. We're fucking on the floor. On the floor of the bando, damn near. On the floor of the fucking bando. I'm thinking myself, like, he's telling me all this stuff. He asked me, is it good? I'm thinking myself, like, don't say nothing. Maybe. Back hurt. I didn't say nothing. <laughs> no, back hurt like fuck. I'm like, this is wild. We can only do a few positions in this bitch. Like, damn, um, that's crazy. Couldn't even go in the, the, the brother bed. The right. brother probably had no bed. Probably yeah. did. I'm like, oh. I don't even want to look around this fucking house. I don't even want to use the bathroom in this bitch. I'm scared yeah, I'm catching I, yeast I, infection yeah, from I think, fucking. I think you fucked in the trap house. Yeah. Damn <laughs> that's, that's there. I'm like, yeah. dog, that's not house, dog. This shit is crazy. So after you got done fucking. After you left, he said, got her. I got up. <laughs> gotcha. No. <laughs> he bamboozled me. He lied. Because I thought he had a bed. I thought he had a house. I thought he had anyway, something. That was this easy. Man, <laughs> bro, he's on Instagram in a fucking suit. In a suit. That like, should be his that first was a red warning. flag. Yeah, it's the red flag. Like, I'm why like, are you on Instagram damn. in a suit? Damn. Okay. Yeah, Look lesson learned. Lesson fucking you know, learned. Hey, you know what would be funny? What if he took everything out the room? Like, <laughs> let me just see what I can do. Like, a size experience. <laughs> let me see if I can get her. He got my ass. Because I definitely petty fucked him that day because I'm like, damn. You got I a just good feel heart. so bad. But I definitely went home after he never heard from me again. Damn. He Ever. still think about that right now. He probably Hell still in that same he, apartment. Okay, so he actually hit me up. Still beat. In December. <laughs> like, oh, do you remember me? <laughs> do you remember me? No, <laughs> no, I, I don't. no, I actually don't. I actually you should say, yeah, up. I remember the grilled cheese sandwich. Yeah, on the you ground. the nigga with no house. <laughs> right? Literally, I mean, the no nigga nothing. with no bed, no nothing. This you in this whole bed though. It's barely a couch. This uh, bitch. That probably was a blow the couch up house. Was literally like this. This is the couch. And they were just sitting on it like this. Like, he definitely came back to his brother. Boy, I hit, boy. <laughs> yeah. I would have took that. I would have took that. Like, hey, one of y'all niggas helped me bring that couch up here. Right. <laughs> He's skinny. He probably would have. That's when I was young. Real I definitely was like 20, fucking with this man. I'm just trying to take it off of a will of a chance, trying to be nice. And you grew you from it. Very nice. Lesson learned. To, I would, I've never done that again because. Yeah, no. Uh uh. Yeah. Respect. That was a one night stand. It was a one time and one. That was. I no, only had, it wasn't a one night. Well, stand. no, it wasn't a one night stand because I didn't enjoy one it. One night lay on plywood. It was one time <laughs> thing. It was a one time show. Yeah. Because mm -mm, I definitely had two of them one time shows before. Yeah, yeah I, was I was about to say yeah. Probably my worst one. Probably like in one in one of my girls' bed. I mean, mama bed. Oh, that's probably the worst one. That's fine. Go ahead. Your girlfriend's mama's bed. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. Speak. She Man, wants to speak now. Go ahead. What? I don't have nothing to say. He's yes, like, you <laughs> say something. <laughs> <laughs> she lying. I wish I could see her face right now. She just said it. No, I didn't. She said it without saying it. The face right, said everything. Okay. Sorry, she said, so good what enough. the fuck? Because I'm saying you. what the fuck. Okay, I'm not even going to hug oh, you. Oh, okay. She was reacting to what I said. I've definitely done oh, okay. some trifling shit when I was in high school. 
my mom, me and mom did not get along. We still don't get along. But <laughs> at the time, we wasn't getting along. And I'm like, she took my bed from me. She literally took my bed from me because she said. That's crazy. She said that I had just got caught up with a nigga like a month mm. ago. So she took my king size bed. And she said, until then, you're going to be sleeping on the floor. Until I get to the bed, you're going to be sleeping on the floor. So the same nigga that I got caught up with, I told him to come over. And I'm like, let's just fuck in her room. I'll change the sheets out there. Let's just fuck in her room. Fuck it. So we did in the after I changed the sheets I wasn't that trifling I changed the sheets cause I felt oh, we ain't changed the sheets well oh. I, I don't know I uh, didn't see the no, sheets that's some real shit don't change the sheets oh uh, <laughs> if, the, if that, you see uh, it you see it that oh, was like you, maybe oh, you it's the same my mama right that's your mama that's if, you, if you, you that's on her. you I changed the sheets because I, even though my mom pissed me off, I love her. I wouldn't have her. Sleep. Your mama said, this, this ain't the sheets that was on my bed when I left. <laughs> oh, no. I just told her I, I just spilled some of her sheets. She's never going to question Boy, Oh, okay. Like you, you exfoliate? Is that the word? You got a lot of liquid that come out. So, yeah, you, you definitely had changed the sheets. She probably yeah. thought raging waters in that motherfucker. Yeah. I'm not really much of a squirter, though. Hmm. I don't squirt off penetration. I squirt off of myself. For real, for real. I've only had one person make me squirt off like sex. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I feel like niggas not consistent enough. My fuck machine get me there though, cause that's consistent. Yeah, that's we we, in we the see, right position. We see we seen your stuff. So like sometimes I'll be I've seen a couple where it's like, now did she put some? Did she dip some yogurt down there? Like what the fuck? <laughs> Y'all know like, my coochie <laughs> be on go. That bitch be creaming like fuck. I'd be like, damn. <laughs> when people be like, oh, we need to do a square V. I'm like, why? Why? That's yeah. not what I do for real, for real. I'm not even going to. I have. I can't. I have to really focus. Like I gotta be real focused in my body to sit up there and squirt in a video. It'd be hard. Yeah. Some of the scenes I seen, I said, "Shit, wax on, wax off to my phone screen." <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna create That's one funny. of those videos. First of all, I was on live one time, and I had my fuck machine, and I wasn't prepared to squirt. It just was out of nowhere. That shit shot clean at my camera. Damn. Clean. Think, it was like, damn, we can't even see nothing no more. I'm like, I am so sorry. It's all it just was just dripping and then it's just white because I cream at the same time. So it's just, just white. I I'm thought like, it was wow. a sea world. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you idiot. Because the whole aquarium down there at this point. Oh yeah, you probably you ocean. probably should have I would have put that behind a paywall like one time only. I did. I'm not going to you. After the live, I definitely, that live is definitely $40 because it's barely rare that I squirt for That's some real shit. So I'm not even going to hold you. You have to pay for that one. I'll just do that for free. I'll move on to the next card. See what we got. See what we got. Which one of your body, which one of your body parts would you consider above average? My lips. That's always the first thing people compliment on me. Like, that's the first thing everybody says when they see me. <laughs> I kid you not. Even yeah. when I was younger in middle school, I used to get, uh, I thought it was bullying at the time of DSLs. Like, oh, you have DSLs. I never knew what it was. I'm from North Carolina. I didn't mm. know what the fuck that saying was when I moved to Georgia. Niggas was just like, oh, you have DSLs. Like, people would just say it when I would walk past and be like, that's crazy what just to say fuck? somebody right on, like, you got some DSLs. <laughs> they did in my what school. What the fuck is that? Like, <laughs> they did in my school. <laughs> And That's then, all you say when you get kind of cool with it. Like, hey, you got some no, DSL. No, like, no. niggas was just coming up to yeah. me and just saying it. Like, damn, your lips is huge. And I'm like, is it a yeah. bad thing? Yeah, I seen or that, or that girl on thing? Twitter today. She got some big ass lips. I was like, damn. I've seen this girl so too. Maybe we talk about cool. the same girl because her lips had me like, damn. Yeah, she, my lips is big. But that's a rarity now for women to have natural big lips. Yeah, very true. Like, I'm not even gonna hold you. People always ask me if I get my lips done. I told them, fuck no. Do no. I look like I just can't? Like, I'm not even, I'm scared of needles. Only needles I'm getting is my tattoos. That's about it. Like, nothing, nothing adding on with fluids in my body doesn't sound good to me. Right. And then yours lay. It's just like yeah, the big ones. Yeah, you can tell. They like, yeah, they puff out. Looking like this. Bitch look like she got a bunch of reaction. Some people need it though. I have a best friend and I love her dearest, but she got her lips done. I think it looks great on her. It, it fits her. It depends on how the this girl. Look. Yes, some Jesus. girl. Jesus. Yes. Some they was on That's her ass coolers. because she was arguing with a girl at first. Wow. And some girl was like, <laughs> the only thing cute on you is your lips. No, I like better. Well, that's, that's, that's some sexy ass lips. I like her big ass phone. That's why you just kiss her every, every she five like, minutes. She, she kiss you. She <laughs> like 50 50 cute. Because it's like. All right. 
It's like the lips, but it's like if she didn't have them lips. She's got a big ass forehead. Yeah. That's the only thing. She she has she has. She reminds me of something. I can't put my finger on it. What exactly? But when I get it, I'm gonna remind myself. She reminds me of that um that flower of Mario with the. All right, bro. I'm not saying she look yes. bad, but the but the flower got the big yes. lips on it. Yes, that's what <laughs> she look like. The one with we not this you, girl, but doing? I'm just. Saying. I think she. I think she look cute. She's decent. That's okay. always you go to, bro. I think if a woman got a big forehead, that's that's she automatic decent. attraction. You, she better take that. She been the reason why she getting tore because she was kind of being nasty on the yeah, internet. Yeah, she was. I didn't like how she came at the girl because she didn't have no choice. Like she didn't have no reason to come at the girl like that. Yeah. That's why she even trending right now. What the now. girl say? Uh, I can't even fucking remember. But I know oh. she called her. Ugly or something like that. I know you can eat a gallon of ice cream. Yeah, I don't got the original tweet, but it was like a girl. It was like a bigger girl. She was thick, and she got on like a little ass outfit. And she, that's why. Yes, the girl, the light skin with that green outfit that's been trending. Oh my god, I'm not even gonna hold you. I was on her ass too, kind of when I first seen it. I like, yeah, that outfit was insane. That shit was like. She was like suffocating, like her shit couldn't breathe. They, like big woman can't always find stuff in themselves. But no, like it looked really bad, like to the nah, point she where looked, she looked insane. It looked she like she got a bulletproof like, vest on. Yeah, like she was just sucking in the whole she time. Just, just, that's right. Just, ima- like, just, just imagine, size. just imagine me step out and I come out here with a medium shirt on, my, my belly hanging out. She looked, she looked crazy. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, her like belly it, was over. The, it like, like it could have been a good outfit, but just get it in your size. Well, then you'll be ready for Thursday at Tokyo, brother. If you get yeah. a medium. <laughs> I was, I was like, yes. <laughs> hey, big one. Respectfully, when I call you big, big woman that's watching this, I hope you are. Uh, wear what you want, baby. Please you know do. how I feel about you. You can wear whatever yeah, you want. Yeah, we got the confidence. Do, do that shit. Just wear yeah. the right size, please. Big women always because got overconfidence. I'm not even going to hold you. That girl definitely was wearing a medium. She was not wearing her proper size. A yeah. medium, or she tried to sneak her ass into a small because that shit Did it was look not like her working. feet was about to explode because she was wearing the size two and shoes? It was a lace outfit. Okay. So just imagine how the lace looked on her. That shit was really sucking I wish I could her. show you the pic. I can't find it, but I if, wish I could too. I'll look, bro. I was about to say, but no one. You gonna see it? No one banks. Gonna see it. He probably. I was about to say, you wouldn't be one. To, you wouldn't want to be seen with this girl. But knowing him, he probably wouldn't even give a fuck. You like, what come on, baby. Mean? I got a good taste in women. No, you got a good taste in women, but you crazy. probably let her just do what she wanted. Yeah, to do. absolutely. Exactly. Let women That's what do I mean. Whatever. Just don't disrespect my mom. That's it. That's the only rule of my family. If your mama seen how that girl was looking, yeah, no, she'll she'll say your words. mama would have said yeah. something. <laughs> don't worry about it. Your grandma, your mama would have grabbed you by the ear, nigga. She was like, <laughs> no, nah, she would have said my first name and be like, yeah. you ain't shit. And I'd be like, what? Uh, we're gonna do one more card. That's why you need. We are gonna come back to Atlanta. We are gonna do a. We are gonna do another. We are gonna do a proper one. Uh, we in somebody like we said. We in somebody else's studio. We somebody. I, you know I, how we get yeah, down. We'll, we'll I got to come back frequently anyway. But. Yeah. All right. So this this is crazy. We gonna end it on this. What's your stance on period sex? Do you partake? <laughs> Hold on. I got to switch. It's everybody face. Hold on. No, this is my favorite topic. Yeah. Okay. So. I'm going to tell my honest truth about period sex. And, and this like is red. just the honest, the honest truth. I don't tend, I don't think you should do it with everybody. Because okay. witchcraft is real. I'm not even going to hold y'all. I, my friend, my mom's friend, she's Cuban. And her grandma does voodoo. And mm. she was just telling us, like, that's just blood, transferring blood between anybody. Yeah, soul, already soul ties. A soul tie already. Uh, so, story. like. I'm not even gonna hold you a story time of me actually fucking somebody right here. I fucked a few people and I kid you not, they won't leave me alone to this day. So it's like that should tell you enough. But this one dude, I thought, okay, it was my first time doing it, and he just was like, I'm a grown ass man. I was like 21 fucking with this goddamn 26 year old. He's like, I'm a grown ass man. Periods don't stop nothing but a sentence. I'm like, blase, blase. So. We get to going and we're fucking. I'm like, okay, this is a good time. But then I'm noticing, like, down the line, he's getting crazier and crazier. Like, mm. I'm on the phone with people. He, who is that? Like, who are you on the phone with? Da 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 da. And I'm like, well, he probably gonna be like that regardless. No, he wasn't <laughs> like that before. It just was oh, okay, like, he came out yeah. the period sex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like after this, what really made me like, okay, I gotta stop fucking with him. Even though I did fuck him again after that, like, <laughs> he tried to throw me on his car. I'm like, we're driving. He's trying to drop me off home. And I'm telling him, like, we had just gotten to an argument because I was on the phone with my guy friend. He had called me. And he like, oh, I'm going to come over tomorrow. Immediately, that was a red flag. Hell no. Why the fuck are you hanging out with niggas? I'm like, this is a family friend. 
Like, my mom knows his mom. It's not that fucking deep. Like, nigga, you need to calm down. He like, no, I'm not going for none of that shit. We get in the car. I'm like, okay, take me home. He like, okay, bet. I'm going to take you home. We get in the car. It's traffic. We coming from Roswell. So I'm like, this nigga is doing 100 in traffic, like, jumping in between cars. Like, it, But he knows, like, it pisses me off because I have a big, big fear of dying in cars. And he knew that. So, like, he's just still going. You're ugly. He's just still going. No, you going to talk next because <laughs> you jumped up when this topic came up. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, we passing that mic in about yeah. five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He was crazy. He tried to throw me out. And I told, I asked him, like, at the end, when he comes to my friend's house, he's so calm when he get there. I think he just tried to throw me out the car. He like, I'm going to see you again, right? Yeah. I'm looking at him like, yeah. With a little smirk, I get out the fucking car. I run to my friend's house. Like, I'm never seeing this nigga again. It took a month to see me. He already took me on a date, and it was a double date between my friend, and I'm like, fuck it, why not? We fucked in his car, and I kid you not, I had to block him after that. I just didn't want to do it again. I'm like, all right, you know, I just want to dig. It was nothing else. I got to block this man, because he going he gonna to find me. Yeah. He going to find me. And he found me not too long ago. He said, oh, my God, I can't believe you're doing porn. I was like, yeah. He was like, oh, I miss you. And I said, oh, that's nice. Mm. I may hear that vamp life theme in his head while I play board cards. So yeah, I'm like 50 50 with the period sex. Like, if it's somebody I'm already fucking with and like I plan to fuck with for a period of time, then yes. But just to anybody, fuck no, because people will ask. Like, I had this one dude, he just randomly just like, it's not that big of a deal. I'm looking at him like, asking for it is crazy. What? It's not that big of a deal. You just do this with everybody? Definitely don't want to do that with you then because. You just give me. You don't give a fuck. You don't give a fuck what comes with anything. So, mm-mm. Yeah. yeah, I had when you brought up that voodoo. I told my story before. I think on the pod about how this female tried to get me with the pasta. My and friend got blood. got with the pasta. Yeah. He still got to this day. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. I was like, this this goddamn prego sauce is a little too thick. Hold on. Why this shit I think I got got with a pasta. Yeah, no, you gotta look through. With you the scoop that bit up, and it's a little. Too oh, <laughs> she she caught me sleeping because I came off a double shift hungry. Yeah, so oh. I ain't about to check that shit. Oh well, yeah. you ate she, it. She I caught me it. slipping. I was like something right. Yeah, that's how I was looking up. I looked up to Jesus. <laughs> nah, <laughs> nah. y'all see me occasionally looking up. I'm just looking at the security camera. I'm like, what the fuck is this? I'm looking at that room to the far right. I was like, why they ain't let us get that one <laughs> with the couches? Yeah, no, nah, I seen it. Sasha Banks, you want to talk about it since you look? I have one big thing to say. Go ahead. My name is not Sasha Banks. I'm sorry. She going to see this and be like, who the fuck were they talking to? <laughs> yeah, she definitely is. <laughs> um, what was what was the topic? Uh, period, so yeah. stance on it. And have you had it? Have I ever had period sex? Yes, but I was dating the guy. Like mm-hmm. we were in a relationship, and only if it was like spotting, you know, oh, like okay. not like heavy. It wasn't yeah. heavy flow. Mm-mm. He's, he's That's messy. That's yeah. 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 It got to. <laughs> it never. Yeah. Right. Even the spotting works, guys. Exactly. That spotting <laughs> shit do not mean nothing. It's damn near the same thing. You just trying to slow it down a little bit. It's just a yeah. Yeah. Cause you, the niggas usually fucked up about you. Um, I feel like yeah. yeah. Oh, you just got the you just got the magic. Too. You're right. You got the glow. <laughs> got I mean, I don't really fuck every nigga that I be with though, so I can't really say oh, do okay. niggas be fucked up about me because it's I three combinations. That's all you gotta have. Yeah. And coochie, I'm not even gonna say three. I'm gonna say two because coochie tie into it, but not everybody just need the coochie. If you got good conversation and good personality. Those are yeah. only two things you need to get. In That's life. usually why people be exactly. Yeah, I'm about to say know, that. I mean, in genuineness, if you really genuine, niggas know a good heart. Niggas know a female with a good heart, just like a female know a nigga with a good heart. I know I'm quiet now, but I'm usually real bubbly. She like, is, and that's why I'm very we surprised. <laughs> no, we could definitely tell. Like when you got out the car, I was like, all right. We do the part two, and we come back to Atlanta. You want to get on camera? Hmm. Let's let the fans decide. Do y'all want to see my face or not? They gonna, <laughs> knowing the fans, they're going to be like, hey, tomorrow. Yeah. They're going to say tomorrow. Shouts out to our guy in Chicago, Tim. He's going to be like, hey, tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, we're going to wrap this up. It, just to let y'all know, we were supposed to leave out of here at 8 o'clock. Oh it's God. 9 o'clock. I'm they're going. These people going to kick us. Yeah, we about to wrap up, we big fella. Good, bro. Yeah, my fault. We about to wrap up. <laughs> 
<laughs> you said it right on cue. Wrap right it right up on then. cue. Like, yeah, get, yeah, get the fuck <laughs> about it. Yeah, right. we gotta go. All right, so uh, Majesty, you up for Urban X Award? Yes. So how do people can vote for that? Make sure you vote for me at the Urban X website. Just look up Urban X, and you can vote me for Rising Female Star, Female Content Creator Year, or whatever else you want to vote me as. A lot of people vote me as uh, Best Breast, which is crazy because people don't like my titties. But yeah, I think they nice. could be bigger, but I'm going to shut up. But yeah. Urban X Awards, Majesty Nasty, Majesty Nasty, that's who you vote for. Thank you. And Miss Majesty Nasty on Instagram, M I S S, Majesty Nasty. Yep. So, yeah. All right, it's been a good one. Yeah, we're going to come back to Atlanta part two. We're going to bring Joe next time. We're going to bring Joe and Devin. Oh, yeah. You know, it's about to be a Hall of Fame episode. <laughs> <laughs> we got to bring more women. It's going to be Hall of Fame. But, yeah, we're going to go ahead and wrap this up. We don't want brother to come back in here for the third time. Sure. The third time, he might bring the fire. So, let's well, just go ahead. The first time. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not going to be the first time we got one pulled out on us. But, hey, with all that said, we out.